Hello Year 1. This video will help you with your Maths Home Learning for Wednesday the 25th of November. This week we're looking at 2D shapes. Today we'll be looking at how to solve different shape patterns. Now we can use different shapes to make different patterns and sequences, but uh, what's special about these is they follow order or they follow a pattern. Let me show you an example. I'm going to create a shape pattern with these shapes at the bottom here. So I've got triangles, I've got circles, and I've got yellow rectangles. I'm going to try something simple. So I think I'm going to try a pattern which has a triangle. I'm going to pick a triangle and I'm going to put that there first. After my triangle, I think I would like to use a circle. So I, my pattern goes triangle, circle, and then I'm going to get another triangle and put that after it. And I'll get another circle, put that there, another triangle, put that there, and I can keep going. So if you look at the pattern that I've created, it goes Triangle, circle, triangle, circle, triangle, circle. What do you think should go next? Yes, triangle. And what do you think goes next? Yep, circle. So let's look at my pattern again. Triangle, circle, triangle, circle, triangle, circle, triangle, circle. Mm, let's me, let me make another one. I think I'll make it a little bit different this time. I think I'm going to take a rectangle this time and I'm going to put it there, but I'm not going to use one. I'm going to use two rectangles. So I'm going to go rectangle, rectangle, and I'll use a triangle here. And then I think I'll, I'll do that. Rectangle, rectangle, triangle. And then I'll repeat that pattern again. Rectangle, rectangle, triangle. So let's look at the pattern. Rectangle, rectangle, triangle. Rectangle, rectangle, triangle. What do you think goes next? Yep, yeah, it's rectangle. Does anybody know how many rectangles I'm going to, I've been using in my pattern? Well, let's have a look. Rectangle, rectangle, triangle. So I've actually been using two rectangles. So let me get another rectangle there. So let's look at my pattern again. Rectangle, rectangle, triangle. Rectangle, rectangle, triangle. Rectangle, rectangle. What do you think would come next? Yes, another triangle. Okay, okay, let me try a different one this time. I think I am going to use um, a circle. Then I'm going to use a triangle. And then I'm going to use a rectangle. So I'm going to do this pattern here. And it goes circle, triangle, rectangle. What do you think goes next if I carry on this same pattern? Yes, it's another circle. So let me go and get a circle. OK, so it goes circle, triangle, rectangle, circle, what happens next? What's my next shape? Yes, it's a triangle. So let's see how my pattern's going. So it's circle, triangle, rectangle. Circle, triangle. What do you think happens next? What shape goes next? Yes, it's a rectangle. Okay, so it goes circle, triangle, rectangle. Circle, triangle, rectangle. Let's carry on. What do you think my next shape will should be again? It's a circle. So let's look at the pattern again. Circle, triangle, rectangle. Circle, triangle, rectangle. Circle, and next it should be triangle. And my last shape in this pattern will be what comes after my triangle. It's a rectangle. So look at all these patterns I've created using shapes. Let's look at the first one again. 
triangle, circle, triangle, circle, triangle, circle, triangle, circle. Let's look at the second one again. Rectangle, rectangle, triangle. Rectangle, rectangle, triangle. Rectangle, rectangle, triangle. And let's have a look at the third one. Circle, triangle, rectangle, circle, triangle, rectangle, circle, triangle, rectangle. So that's how we make different shape patterns. Let's have a look at something else. If we look at these patterns, can you work out what the next shape should be? Let's look at the first one. Do you remember the name of this shape? Yes, it's a pentagon. Do you remember the name of this shape? It's a kite. So let's see what the pattern is. So it's pentagon, pentagon, kite. Pentagon, pentagon. What do you think comes next? Yes, it's kite. I've got kite here. Pick my kite up and put it there. So it goes pentagon, pentagon, kite. Pentagon, pentagon, kite. Let's have a look at the next one. It goes, it's not a circle, this. Do anyone remember the name of this shape? It's an oval. It's an oval, oval, rectangle. Oval, oval. What do you think comes next? Yes, it's a rectangle. So the rectangle goes there. What do you think happens in the last box? So we have square, square, circle. Square, square. What do you think happens next? Yes, it's a circle. So that's how you try and work out what, what the next shape is in the pattern. Now, for your home learning and in your home learning pack, you'll have a sheet that looks like this. And what you've got to do is you've got to look for clues to try and work out what the missing shapes are. So let's have a look. Let's have a look at the first one. Let's have a look at the pattern. So it goes square, triangle, triangle, square, triangle. What do you think the shape is that goes here that's missing? See if you can follow that same pattern and it should carry on with the same pattern all the way along. Now, if you look at this second one, it's a little harder because you've got the first shape, you've got the pentagon, then you've got no shape after that. So it's a bit hard doing it from this side. So you have to go looking for clues further along the pattern. So let's look at this side. So it goes triangle, pentagon, pentagon, triangle. What do you think happens next? So triangle, something, pentagon, triangle, something, pentagon. So see if you can follow this pattern here. So what you need to do is have a look at the patterns, look for clues to see how the shapes are being repeated and see if you can finish the pattern by drawing them in. And the same here as well. Look at the pattern, triangle, triangle, oval. What do you think happens next? So it's triangle, triangle, oval. So it would be triangle, triangle, oval. And the same here and here. At the bottom of the sheet, see if you can make your own pattern and see what shapes you can use. And see if you can follow a similar pattern, but you can make up your own. You can use two shapes to make the pattern, or you can make three shapes to make the pattern. That's totally up to you. So have a go.